Hi, this is Ray Curlick from Wadler Purchase Hundle and Curlick, and we're here in our Fulcher office today to talk a little bit about wills and estate planning, and specifically why you shouldn't attempt creating your own will from an online form. What we provide here in our offices in Fulcher is a fast and easy and professional assistance to create a will that's going to comply with Texas laws and guidelines essentially a will that will make sure and do what you want it to do. So why should you take a chance on trying to do it yourself when you can make sure that you accomplish what you want to accomplish with professional assistance for what will end up being in the final analysis a cheaper solution? And why do I say that? Well the answer is we have dealt with lots of homemade wills. Folks go on the internet and they use a service or they just try and Google it themselves to find out here's what's in a will. And there's a couple of problems with that. The first problem is the will may in itself be facially invalid and that is to say it doesn't comply with Texas requirements for a will. It's not self-proved, it doesn't have the proper witnessing, the language in the will itself is inconsistent. Uh, with what Texas law requires. So that's a basic problem, uh, which means essentially you will end up without a will and will end up in the process of having to go through an airship and administration proceeding, which will vastly exceed the cost that it would have cost to basically get the will handled in the proper way in the first place. The second, in my opinion, much more important reason that you won't want to do something yourself is you take the chance that you will make a basic error in instructions that will result in very bad consequences for the loved ones that you've left behind. Let me give you an example. Uh, we had a situation not too long ago in which we had a person, engineer, who decided that he was smart enough to handle his own will. And the answer is, of course, he was smart enough to handle his own will, but doesn't mean that he should have handled his own will. And the reason is, he made a very basic uh, mistake and one that is not uncommon. He provided for certain things to happen uh, if his spouse did not survive him. Uh, and it made some very specific requests to his kids and his stepkids and how they were going to be handled. But it said nothing about what would happen uh, if his wife did survive him. And guess what that means? There was no provision for what would happen if he passed away and his wife was still living. That's foolish, it's an easy mistake, but it's the kind of mistake that folks make when they're not comfortable or familiar with how these things work. The other basic things that have to be taken into account, uh, things like uh, bond provisions, uh, things like uh, how to handle uh, continuing ongoing uh, obligations that may be out there for minors. Things like uh, guardianships for minor children that may be in your custody, uh, testamentary trusts, uh, no contest clauses. These are all things that a lawyer can help you with and basically this is part of what we do every day. Uh, if you try and handle it yourself, you're basically going to have to learn a lot of information and then take a chance that you handle it in the right, right way. In the final analysis, it could be much more expensive uh, for the folks that are left behind than if you had simply taken advantage of our flat rate special for basic estate planning package. Don't do it on your own. Don't rely on the internet to give you answers that really are legal answers and should be answered by legal professional. Make an appointment with us today and let us help you get through this process quickly, professionally, uh, and with a little bit more assurance that you'll get what you want at the end. Thank you.